Good day everyone, this is Bob from Biotime and welcome to our talk channel. Today we'll discuss about HbA1c testing. What is an HbA1c test? HbA1c test is a blood test that is used to help diagnose and monitor people with diabetes. It's also sometimes called hemoglobin A1c or glycated hemoglobin. HbA1c refers to glucose and hemoglobin joined together. Hemoglobin is the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen throughout the body. The amount of HbA1c formed is directly related to the amount of glucose in the blood. Red blood cells live for up to four months, therefore HbA1c gives an indication of how much sugar there has been in the blood over the past two to three months. It's different from the blood glucose test, which measures how much sugar is in the blood at that moment. So, who should get the HbA1c test? As we know, HbA1c is an important indicator of long-term glycemic control with the ability to reflect the cumulative glycemic history. Those individuals should get the HbA1c testing if they are an adult over age of 45 or if they are under 45 but overweight and have one or more risk factors for prediabetes or type 2 diabetes. If the result is normal after the testing, but the individuals with over 45 who might have prediabetes risk factors or they have ever had gestational diabetes, then those individuals must repeat the HbA1c test every three years. However, understanding HbA1c test results is important. For people without diabetes, the normal range for the HbA1c level is between 4% to 5.6% and HbA1c levels between 5.7% to 6.4% would indicate that they have prediabetes and a higher chance of getting diabetes. Levels of 6.5% or higher is confirmed that they have diabetes then individuals should discuss the results with their doctor to see what they mean in their particular situation.